Uh, hello, and welcome to Volume 238. I'm Mark Graves, just a regular guy fighting prostate cancer. I'm glad to have you along for the ride. Uh, this video is being recorded um, just, just a day shy of a week since I got home from the hospital. And um, uh, I'm not sure how long since my last video, but at any rate, uh, I'm feeling stronger every day. I'm exercising more every day. Uh, my breathing is getting better every day. Um, I did, I, I'm, yeah, I think I mentioned it in my last uh, video, but I did beat COVID's ass. I, I am happy to say that, even with a compromised immune system, being 20 pounds overweight, uh, I still beat it. I had a nurse that was just incredible at Hogue Hospital, and I wish for the life of me I could remember her name. I know she had a very strong uh, European accent, might have been Czechoslovakian, something like that. Um, and she told me, she, when I, the day I left uh, COVID quarantine, and trust me, five days in there feels like 100 days in prison. Uh, no one is allowed in to visit. Uh, they, they come in twice a day and check your blood three times. They bring you a meal. Outside of that, no one enters your room and the door stays shut. Uh, so, yeah, it's uh, not the kind of place you want to be. But she told me when I left, she goes, the choice is up to you. You can choose to live or you can choose to die. She said, if you want to die, just go home and don't do anything. She goes, just sit around and COVID will kill you. She said, if you want to live, then you need to exercise every chance you get. You need to do the breathing exercises with the tool that they give you. Um, and so that's what I did. I came home and I fought and, uh, and I beat it. So I'm COVID free. Uh, I do still have some leftover remnants in my lungs that we're dealing with. Um, I'll find out Friday if those are gonna go away or if, uh, if the breathing issues are something that uh, I'm gonna have to continue to deal with, we'll see. Um, but at any rate, she, it was great advice and uh, I think she saved my life. So even with, like I said, even with having no immune system to speak of, um, I made it through. So uh, I'm, I'm looking now at, my, at the cancer. I'm actually making changes in how I speak about the cancer. It's not my cancer. I, I don't have cancer. Uh, cancer is in me, but it's not mine. I don't claim it. I have no emotional attachment to the cancer and I'm gonna do everything I can to fight that cancer. Now, it'll never go away. Uh, the cancer, you know, is, is in my body and it's here to stay. The trick is, can we punch it and knock it out? Uh, can we silence it? And that's what I'm shooting for. I'm currently getting my second immunotherapy treatment on Friday and I'm holding out so much hope for this. I'm praying so hard that this works. I would appreciate your prayers too, specifically that the immunotherapy that I'm undergoing works for me. Now I have uh, certain markers in my blood. We've talked about that before. Uh, that gave me the ability to go to the head of the class, the front of the line, and not have to wait for the clinical trials. I was able to go right into the immunotherapy because I have that marker in my blood. The other marker that I have uh, is the same one that so many people have that have gained success using the immunotherapy that I am. So I'm pretty jazzed about that. Um, it's, it's something to uh, pray hard about. And I feel strongly that this is gonna work. So I'll get my second treatment on Friday. I'll also discuss my uh, CT scan of my chest that they did at the hospital. So. It, you know, and the weird part is like, we've talked about this before. They release the information to you through my chart or whatever. I almost wish they wouldn't do that because I read it this morning and it talks about masses and lesions and things that weren't there back in October when we did the last CT scan on my chest. But I'm not freaking out. I'm not worried about anything until I talk to Dr. Holmesy on Friday and then we'll find out what's what. We'll get everything sorted out. Um, the best thing I can do is keep a positive attitude and just keep looking down the road and say, you know what, 
I'm going to be cancer free. I'm going to be undetectable. So thank you all so much. And I'm extremely thankful for all the prayers, all the positive thoughts, all the good wishes, all the, the juju, good juju, all the aloha, the chakra, everything you guys have sent my way. I can't tell you how much it helps. And I thank God every day when I go to bed for each and every one, for all of the people that support me and all those who pray and offer up positive energy to the universe that I'll be able to beat this. Uh, I wish I had some more technical stuff for you. Um, but right now, I just have that one CT scan on my chest that I'm waiting for. And we'll find out what's happening with that. Sorry, just my butt's getting a little sore on the couch. But, uh, but as far as the day-to-day uh, -day life, I'm actually doing pretty good. I'm getting more strength every day. Sorry about the laptop shaking. I'm getting more strength every day. Uh, let's see, day before yesterday, I walked with my wheeled walker um, out to the garage and then down to the street uh, and then back up to the house, which I would say my driveway is probably, I don't know, 25 feet or so from the porch to the, uh, to the actual uh, sidewalk. And I was able to do that. So we'll see if I can pull that off again today or not. Um, the hair continues to grow. <laughs> I know it looks like mad scientists, but, uh, oh, and that's my IV that stays in. I have uh, what I love to refer to as the water truck, uh, comes three days a week. It's a hydration truck. And uh, I don't know what the issue was. I, I mean, the issue is that I wasn't drinking enough water. I wasn't staying hydrated. And when that would happen and my, my, my body would become dehydrated, then I was giving my bladder uh, just party time. You know, the, the bacteria could get in there and do whatever they wanted to. And they did. And, you know, it took me down. Uh, gosh, I'm not even sure how many hospital visits I had in the last six months at this point. But, you know, that was my fault. I wasn't staying hydrated. So even when I got home from the hospital, I still couldn't drink water. I, I don't, you know, some mental block, whatever it was, water didn't taste good to me. It didn't feel good to me. Um, I didn't want to drink it. So I prayed really hard on it and detached myself emotionally from that feeling. And now I'm back to being able to drink water. So I'm drinking, um, it's not, I, what is it? Okay. Alkaline, I'm drinking alkaline water. Uh, my daughter drives up a couple times a week and fills up the bottles for us. And we both drink that. Um, I also am drinking uh, by coconut water. Um, I've got some some fizzy stuff. I think that uh, my cousin's going to let me try and see if I like that or not. Um, but a lot of people, uh, and that's called St. Croix, right? La Croix. La Croix? Yeah, La Croix. I, I don't know. But anyways, um, so most people are pretty good. I got a friend that uh, that's, that's all she drinks water-wise because uh, she likes the fizzy and stuff. I'm not a a soda guy. I don't really drink soda, but I'll try the fizzy stuff and see how that goes. Um, I have my first cup of decaf coffee uh, that my daughter made for me. Uh, I had some coffee in the hospital. Um, I think I had a couple of cups of decaf and then unfortunately forgot to say decaf on one of the, the mornings. And uh, wow. It, no, you shouldn't have caffeine if you're going to be in a hospital. It does not work well. Um, so uh, life is not normal, but it ain't, it ain't too bad right now either. My daughter's assisting me in my health uh, to get better, and I can't tell you how thankful I am for that. So um, I'm going to let things go here. Uh, again, you know, I can't say thank you enough for all of the positive energy that you guys are sending my way. And uh, if you would, uh, if you want to pray specifically, let's, let's pray for uh, the immunotherapy to work. And um, like I said, I got a good feeling and I'm looking forward to feeling even better than I do right now, getting more strength, uh, getting my lung capacity back up where it needs to be and get rid of the cough. Uh, and life will be good. 
I'm really looking forward to that. So thank you so much for everyone. I love you all. Uh, I'll try and get another video up in, in a couple of days, but that pretty much brings you up to where I'm at. Um, thanks and have a great day.